Eric the Pig could perform a fast jig, so he entered for the jig race of the year. Now Eric was good, and he knew that he could win or come very near. On the day of the race, he'd lost none of his pace, but his face showed the first signs of strain. You see, Derek the Deer won year after year. Yes, jigging was Derek's game. When they lined up, there was Tommy the Duck, a woodpecker who had no chance at all. A pullet named Sid, now he could dance a jig. Trouble was, he was liable to fall. Braithwaite the Badger, what an old cadger. Billy Worm, Tom Turkey, Jim Ferret. But all eyes were on a pig who could perform a fast jig. And he'd come a challenge, Big Derek. Right, now you know what to do, shrilled Kim Cockatoo, and I don't want no messing about. Try any tricks and you'll be in a fix. There's not much that I can't find out. Ronnie the Rat squeaked, thank heaven for that. But how do you expect to keep check? Kim said, look up in the steeple, and there he was, Bertie Beetle. Oh, watch him, don't you fret. <laughs> what with Snuffy the Elm with his nose to the ground and Gary Goldfish down in the lake? Nah, nah, it'd be a good race this year, a good race, and no mistake. Now, when I spread me wings, signalled colourful Kim, get ready and listen for Joe. Joe was a canary, little bit leery, but well, you know. Joe let out a chirp, and up flew the dirt, and off they went like a shot. There was plenty of jigging, and some ligging. Bill Worm got himself tied in a knot. Still, the race was on, and it wouldn't be long before they'd be coming round and eat a bump. Bertie spotted some dust and thought, well, this must be the leaders, well out in front. Snuffy the hound put his nose to the ground. It's Tom Turkey with an up, skip and jump. Sure enough, it was Tom. He was flying along, while the others were nowhere to be seen. What had happened to Eric and the champion, Derek? Alec the Owl hooted, see what I mean? Alec had took on all bets that Tom would be the next. Mind you, the Owl had seen Tom Turkey in training. He could jig it all right and put up a good fight, as long as it didn't start raining. At the halfway stage, Derek was in a rage. Mind you, he was jigging okay. What was more at the point was that he was in joint third. What would they all say? But although he was wild, he still had the style. And his jig was a sight to behold. Even Eric the Pig, who could perform a fast jig, was completely and utterly sold. Would this be the year to end the reign of the deer? Would the winning streak end? But as they quickened the pace, Derek moved up a place and was second round the long snake pit bend. Still leading was Tom, but something was wrong. He'd sort of jigged himself into a trot. Poor old soul, mumbled old Molly Mole. I'm afraid he's give all he's got. And of course, back he came as it started to rain. And old Alec wasn't feeling so wise. No, no, Tom had had a good go, but he wouldn't be in for a prize. It was a repeat of last year. Derek the deer, followed closely by Tommy the duck. But who was this, Eric? Or Jimmy the ferret? Who's in front, Bert? Wake up. Um, um, it, it looks like Tommy. Ooh, lovely fault, Ronnie. I'll have plenty of cheese tonight. Uh, then I think it's Derek, followed closely by Eric. But the others are way out of sight. Now, this was exciting and caused some nail-biting. The money was flying about. That little rat, Ronnie, had got six to one Tommy, hoping he'd pull something out. But he was flat out now. And it was no good anyhow, because Derek was making his play. Up he come with a magnificent run, jigging and jigging away. Ooh, he found himself now, mood for Lister Cow, chewing on an old lump of grass. Tommy the Duck thought he got it sewn up, but Derek's the one with the class. It was Eric in second, but nobody reckoned he'd win it. No, he'd left it too late. Even Alec the Owl knew the result now. It would be Derek first through the gate. Just a trot through the farm, down by the old barn. The deer was well into his stride. And by this time, the ferret had caught up with old Eric and gone past him, just on his inside. Eric watched him go by and shook his head with a sigh. Whew, there's more to a jig than I thought. I was sure I could do it. Of course, I know why I blew it. I got myself all over raw. When the tape came in sight, the deer knew he had it all right. He was cocky. It's easy for some. But he slipped up on the grass as Jim Ferret went past. You should never shout out till you've won. 